Now I stopped in the previous video. I did this problem, but I want to show you another way it can be done just to let you see this happen. Let's convert nine teaspoons and see how many tablespoons that is. Basic way you set it up one more time. What you know, nine teaspoons. Put it over one. I'm going to multiply by a second fraction where what I'm looking for up here, pardon me, what I know up here goes down here, excuse me. What I'm looking for, tablespoons, goes right there. Now in the previous video, we already said there's what? There's three teaspoons in every one tablespoon and one went here and three went here. But look at the medicine cup. Is it also true, that top line, that top line of the medicine cup is two tablespoons, and that's the same thing as six teaspoons. Is that true? Yes, it is. So two tablespoons equals six teaspoons. Is that a true statement? If it is, yes, it is. It'll work. Now, here's the deal. When you put one here and three here, there were only two numbers that weren't ones, nine up here and three down here. You took nine divided by three. Well, there's three non-one numbers. And that's just my silly term, non-one. There's a nine here, there's a two, there's a six here. And this will crop up lots of times in the, the farther we go. When there's three non-one numbers, two on the top, you multiply. And then you divide by the one on the bottom. So, now we can cancel out whenever right here. Okay, cancel out, let's cancel. But the math is what? Nine times two, that makes 18. Then we divide 18 by six, that makes three. So the answer is same as we got in the previous thing. The answer, of course, is three tablespoons, but see how we did this. Anytime, if you put two numbers here that are true about each other, you'll get the right answer. If you put three teaspoons here equals one tablespoon, there's a three here and a one here. That's the same thing though as six teaspoons equals two tablespoons, it works out the same. So this will crop up again where there are three numbers. Deal with it. Learn how to do this. Now, a few more of these you'll see over and over again. Pound and kilogram. Let me say this one more time. If you're converting, for example, uh, kilograms into grams, those are both metric. And you'll merely move the decimal left or right to make that conversion take place. Here, one is metric, one is not. You got to do it this way. So even though one is a metric measurement, if they're both not metric, you do it this way. So again, what I know, 142, 142 pounds, put it over one. Now let's multiply by a second fraction where what's up here will go down here. My pen's getting a little weak here. Let's see if I get another one. This is embarrassing. What I'm looking for, kilograms, goes up here. That's even worse. Third switch, okay. Now, how do pounds and kilograms compare? We said before, you got this somewhere etched into your memory, right? You better have this, that one kilogram, oh, that's better. One kilogram is 2.2 pounds. And of course, the pounds up here cancels out the pounds down here. And using your handy dandy cheap little $1 calculator, hope it works now, that's on top, that's on the bottom. I take 142, I divide it by 2.2, and the answer is, well, 64.5454554, it keeps going. How far do I round off? Tenths is fine, more than one, I discussed these rules before, 64.5, sounds like a pretty good answer to me. 64.5 kilograms. What about the other way around? I'm given how many kilograms I've got, I change to pounds. Look, don't try to anticipate, oh, I think it's gonna, just set it up, it's gonna come out automatically and give you the right answer if you do the steps properly. If you do it right every single way, 
the same time every time, it's going to give you the right answer. So what I know, 47, 47 kilograms. What I know goes over one, make another fraction and put what's up here, down here. Kilograms goes down there. What I'm looking for, pounds, goes on the top. And how do pounds and kilograms compare? Well, in this case, they the same numbers, but they're in a different spot. I know that one kilogram is the same thing as 2.2 .2 pounds. Kilograms will cancel out. Since both of these non-one numbers are on top, what do I do with them? Yes, I multiplied it. So 47 times 2.2 equals 103.4. 103.4 pounds. Well, this gets you a few more of these. Again, practice and practice and practice this. Let me say it again. If you set it up like you're supposed to, like I tell you to do what I say and do it step by step and put the right numbers in, you're going to get the right answer. If you get the wrong answer, it's cause you didn't set it up right or you did something wrong somewhere along the way. It's your fault, you're to blame. Okay, takes me off the hook.